A very good evening and a warm welcome to tonight's edition of KTN Sports. I'm Lynn Washira. The Kenyan team to the 41st edition of the World Cross Country Championships jetted back into the country early today. On arrival from Guyan, China, head coach David Letting expressed his satisfaction with the team's performance. Kenya finished second overall behind rivals Ethiopia. Song and dance celebrating heroes the Kenyan way. Friends and relatives waited patiently to welcome back their very own from China. Holding on to the flag, they flew high at the World Cross Country Championships in Guiyang, China. The Kenyan team arrival at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, just as expected, caused a stir. Kenya finished second overall at the World Cross Country Championships after two years of emerging top and humiliating Ethiopia, who redeemed themselves. Winning is easy, but to maintain is it's something else. Because everybody will be preparing for you. Agnes Chebet Tirop is glad to have ensured the senior women's race did not leave the country while becoming the youngest World Cross Country champion in the eight kilometers race. To Likibia was training nine, Likonju, who cook a car to train for Sad. In the absence of 2013 champion Jafet Koril, Geoffrey Kipsang Kamorol joined the likes of Ethiopia's Kenenisa Bekele in becoming a world cross country champion in both the junior and the senior race. It was really competitive and the course was really challenging, but uh, the good thing we were prepared and we are trained here now. With the World Cross Country Junior Championship title, a World Senior a Cross Country Championships title and a World Half Marathon title under his name, Geoffrey Camarol's arrival home does not signal a time to celebrate or take a rest, but rather a time to focus on the upcoming 2015 track season. My plans is to go to Kimbia 10,000 meters. I'm going to go that's my main focus for now. After representing Kenya severally, Biden Karoki bagged his first championship medal after finishing second in the senior race. His is not only a personal achievement, but rather a reward for his Nyahuru and relenting supporters. Uh, Tumeshukuru wote hata walipomuona katika vyombo vya habari walisidi kumshukuru Mungu na kusifu jina lake. For now it's time to celebrate their achievements but with the 2015 track season in sight the celebrations won't last long.